Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day so far. Here I am with another uh, bullet journal setup for the month of May. I cannot believe that we are already uh, going towards uh, May. It is almost uh, half the year. So for May month, uh, I'm going with a uh, dandelion's theme. I have already done this theme. I have a blog post uh, uh, using a dandelion theme, but I have not uh, done a video. So for a month of May, I am uh, recreating uh, the dandelion theme. The I got all my uh, inspirations uh, from uh, Pinterest. Again, I will link uh, my old uh, bullet journal setup using uh, the same theme uh, down in the description below for you guys to check it out. So yeah, for on the right side of the page, I went uh, with this um, with the name of the month May, and I drew like a dandelions all over the page. Uh, yeah, and on the left side, I went uh, with this quote called uh, "Make a Wish," which, uh, like that, uh, the "Make a Wish" quotes just uh, comes to my mind uh, when uh, when we see a dandelion. Uh, do you guys remember like uh, taking out a dandelion and just uh, closing your eyes and making a wish and blowing it? I think many of us did that when we were in our childhood and uh, even now uh, i'm very i'll be like very excited to see a dandelion and even i taught my son to do the same Uh, the dandelion's theme is like very easy to do but it it took me like around uh, two to three days to complete this whole setup might be because of these uh, minute details again you can see like uh, i did not use uh, any colors i just went with this uh, black uh, fine uh, liner and uh, like since uh, it has like lots of minute details and highlighting and stuff it took me around like uh, almost like two to three days to complete this uh, whole setup you say take me on a treasure hunt i long for something new have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance As always, I kept my uh, bullet journal setup uh, as minimal and practical as possible. To be honest, I use like only like the calendar spread and the weekly layout spread. So I did not like add uh, any other uh, layouts in this uh, month setup because like I have like a gratitude journal where I fill the mood uh, for that particular day. So there is no use of adding uh, the mood tracker here in the bullet journal to where I'll be like filling twice. So I did not add any other additional layouts. I just uh, went with like a very minimal and essential uh, layouts in this month spread. No. Some time to get there 
so for a weekly layout uh, in my previous uh, months uh, journal I tried uh, different layouts but uh, that did not uh, work for me so I went with my like go to a uh, weekly layout uh, design here because uh, this in this uh, layouts is like a uh, very practical and this is how like I uh, work having this uh, layout i can divide that particular day into two section where like on a uh, left hand side i will be like writing everything uh, related to my work or uh, and on a uh, right hand side i will play i will plan my like daily chores like a laundry or like cleaning or something like that I uh, really had uh, fun uh, creating this uh, particular theme and I really like like even without using any colors uh, the setup looks like uh, very attractive and I hope you got some uh, inspiration and motivation to do your bullet journal uh, spread as well. I really hope you guys found this video useful uh, again I will link my uh, blog post and all the products that I uh, used in this video uh, down in the description box below for you guys to check it out please uh, like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this thanks for watching